The first question I would like to ask is, what's your name and your position? Uh, my name is Libby Schaff, and I am the mayor of Oakland, California. So have you had any early life experiences with tech? Yeah, um, you know, when I first was in the working world, I ran the volunteer program for the Oakland Public Schools. And so I, along with the school district, a guy named Peter Hutcher, we organized Oakland's Net Day. And it was the biggest, most successful Net Day in the entire United States. We wired in a single day 52 schools for internet access across the city. Wow. We had hundreds of volunteers. We got all the materials donated. And that experience showed me that not only is technology so important for our young people to have access to, but it's actually a powerful tool to bring people together. So why should I care that blacks and Latinos make up 30% of the US population, but only three to 7% of the tech workforce? Well, let me say we all should care. Uh, and I, as a white person, should care because I am missing out on the talent, the innovation, the contributions of 25% of my population. That's stupid. We need people that are of the non-dominant identity to be in these fields because unless you have personally experienced the very subtle but cutting and very real barriers to entry, to moving forward in an organization, you don't know how to get rid of those barriers. We are not gonna be serving all of society if we only have one perspective working on solutions. So what is the city doing to help with diversity and inclusion? I'm so excited about our partnership with the k Center for Social Impact. Now we have started up with them the Oakland Startup Network, and it is an actual network to help people of color who are founding tech companies, who are starting up tech companies here in Oakland, get mentoring, get access to capital, get help with the city processes. We also um, are just about to launch, it's in beta, um, a website, and it, it actually will be an app as well, called Startup in a Day. So if you want to start a business in Oakland, whether it's tech or any kind of business, you can do all your processes online within 24 hours to get everything you need from the city as far as permits and all that. Another thing we're doing is we're part of the Tech Equity Collaborative. How will a more diverse tech workforce impact the future of Oakland? Well, Oakland is a city that defines itself around inclusive diversity. I want Oakland to be a model of what it looks like and feels like to have a tech community that is drawing on the full talent of our community, the full life experiences of our community. Because I believe that we will then be the most successful tech sector in the country. And that is how I think we're gonna move not just tech forward, but all of society forward. Wow. But George, let me flip the script. I've got a question for you. Okay. If you were the mayor of Oakland, what would you be doing to make sure that tech was more diverse? I would do sort of what you're doing in including diversity and start new programs. Having new tech programs in Oakland and having it supported by the city is something that should be continued. And then George, how can I talk to young people in Oakland, especially young people of color, and encourage them to do what it takes to be successful in tech. Meet them on a personal level. Because since you're the mayor of Oakland, you have extreme authority and we see you as a role model. If you connected with them one-on-one -on -one in a way that we saw you as somewhat of an equal, I feel like we could share different perspectives and those perspectives could turn into something huge. You know, you've touched on something really interesting. Authority is sometimes a barrier for good communication. Is there a way that you think that I could take that mantle of mayor down and just really inspire young people? Is it through Snapchat, Instagram? How, how, how does somebody, how does an old mayor reach out to the youth and get them excited, get them fired up about the possibilities? I wouldn't create a Snapchat, but having those connections and being able to talk about stuff that's relevant with teenagers I think that's one thing that you can connect on. 
you can get their perspectives as well as meeting them at school. Not only just speaking to the school and going to pep rallies, but really going to them after school and talking to them and meeting one-on-one -on -one and seeing what their problems are at school, maybe at home, and see how maybe technology can be integrated in their lives if it's not already, and how they can leverage their resources in Oakland to create something better. So thank you so much for being able to talk to me. I really appreciate your answers. It's always nice to see you. So, thank you. Well, it's always nice to see you too. Your influence is vast, George, and I'm sure it's gonna just keep going. <laughs> thank you. I'm a hugger. <laughs> Great to see you. I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of you. <laughs> I don't have